Woke up at 8 o'clock in the morning on a Saturday Saturday morning. Yeah, so let me just narrate about him. This is against a friend of mine, White Apom. He's a fellow, fellow Tennessean. And this is the RU battle, as you can tell by the team. We both kind of have the same strategy going on. Toxic Spikes and um, Steph Fox and, and that shenanigans. So um, I have to definitely watch out for that. I'm going to start off with Bouflant because I wasn't t as entirely sure what he was going to start off. But I thought this would be good. Bouflant is Bandit. So anything um, is going to take a good amount of damage. So I did not expect him to actually go for the Flare Bridge. I don't know what I expected. And uh, even if he did, I didn't have really anything to take that the best. Um, I could have went to Clay Doll, but it's especially defensive, so that wouldn't have made any sense. I am going to head charge, and it's going to take him out, take me out. Now we have a double down. And uh, now he's going to go to this Quillfish. I kind of figured something like that, so I went into my Manetric. I scare him out with the Volt Charge, I mean, the Volt Switch. Uh, I figured that he'd think I wouldn't go for it because he has the clay doll and he could have brought it in to block it, but then I wouldn't have cared because I am I am locked into it, but I would rather take that chance than him getting toxic spikes out when most of my Pokemon are, um, are affected by it, even though I do have Drapion. So he's going to go into, uh, well, I'm going to go into Drapion. He's going to go into Magneton. I just knock off. In case he had Eevee or Light or something, he didn't. He just had leftovers. Um... So that's at least that's you know him not recovering any damage. He's gonna go, what did he do? I got confused and I don't know what he did. I missed it. Anyway, um, I figured the thunderbolt was coming, so I'm gonna go to clay the uh, clay doll now, and it's my special wall, so I'm not really that afraid. I am gonna get my stuff rocks up. Um, I'm glad that I got it up first, cause now I can go to the toxic, cause he's definitely gonna stand to get his up. So that is a um, better situation for me, cause his clay doll is toxic and mine is fine. So I'm going to trade out, expecting him to go toxic or something, or um, do something. I don't know what he's going to do, um, but he does switch out also, and he goes into his Rotom. Now, I do get a lot of information from his Rotom coming in, uh, Steph Rock damage, and then I see Leftover. So I know he's not Scarf. So I, I think something else is Scarf. So I figured he'd go for a Volt Switch or something. It's all he can do, and I can definitely survive that. So I'm going to go for the Toxic Spikes. Just because his Cruel Fish is dead, and um, whatever he has. He doesn't have a lot that is actually affected by the Toxic Spikes. So I'm not going to set up a second layer. Uh, it's more just to kind of have some residual damage on his uh, Ravantula, which he does have. Now, he does go into Magneton. Um, it is susceptible to the Earthquake, and I pursue that by Earthquaking. And he's going to um, do the Tri-Attack and get the Paralyze on me. That's unfortunate, because I was faster, to, faster than him, and I could have taken his Magneton out, but, you know, that just didn't happen. So he's going to take me out with a second Tri-Attack. I don't want anybody else to take that. Black Star is going to come out. I could set up Spikes or something, but I'm not. I'm just going to Bug Buzz and kill it. No point to... Um, having unnecessary damage on black star especially when i'm already life over um he's gonna go into his garbantula i was kind of afraid that this might be scarf i don't know what is the scarf i figured something is scarf on his team and i don't know what it is so i switch out and he actually pursuits now the, the fact that he actually pursuits tells me that he's definitely not scarf where we have scarf pursuit and i'm actually kind of confused on what kind of <laughs> garbantula this is so i go in my clay doll just in case he's locked in the pursuit, but then he switches moves and, told, and tells me that he's not choice in any way, which is fine because I can take a, um, I can take a bug buzz and I can just rapid spin his rocks away, and uh, yeah, so I'm gonna do that because Black Star don't need to be taking that extra damage. Um, he is gonna just bug buzz again and take me out. That's fine because he's gonna be at a lower health to wear anything that's faster, which is pretty much only my. Um, my Accelagor can outspeed him. Oh, wait. Uh, yeah, and no, I forgot. <laughs> um, my Manetric, because I think Manetric is Scarf Specs. I don't remember. So I go for the Flamethrower in case he wants to go to Rotom to sponge the possible, you know, whatever. Or, you know, I don't know. That was that didn't make any sense. I should have went for my Hidden Power, but I didn't remember what it was at the time. So I went with Flamethrower. Um, now I can go to Polyrath because Claydor can't really do anything. I figured that he wouldn't have a Psychic, and this Claydor seems very similar to mine. And um, so, yeah, I can come in, I can get a Substitute up, and I can bulk up because the damage that Earthquake did um, shows that it would not break my Substitute. So I do set up the Substitute as he switched to his Rotom. <sighs> Rotom. So, this Rotom is not as trolling as most of them because it's leftovers and I can outspeed with uh, Acelagor and get a bug buzz off and kill it. 
So that doesn't afraid of me. What? <laughs> so I doesn't afraid of Rotom this um, this time in this instance. He does go ahead and um, so, uh, wow, leaf storm this. <laughs> wow, come on, focus, focus. He leaf storms to break my sub. I'm gonna sucker throw him out, and it goes into Claydol. And I was like hoping to go into Gravantula just to kill it off with um rocks and poison, but it doesn't happen. So you know what? This is fine because I can set up another sub. And this time he goes for the rapid spin, so his Pokemon is not taking damage when they come back in. Makes sense. And um, I am going to take advantage of this by bulking up now. And this is what the center around my team is: is to set up spikes, talk to spikes, stuff rocks, and then bulk up in circle throw with uh, Polyrath. But most of his team isn't affected by um, a lot of my entry hazards, so it doesn't really work in this aspect. But you know, it's whatever. So I expect him to stay in and just sacrifice his clay doll, but he doesn't. He actually goes into Rotom, which is smart because um, he's faster. He can break my stuff with the Volt Switch. But next turn, he's got to sacrifice something if he wants to do that and not just take me out. So if he decides to stay in and just leave Storm, then I can circle throw. But this is actually the smarter move because now he breaks my sub and then I'm a circle throw and he has a chance of coming back in with Rotom. Now... With that said, um, I'm kind of left in the open. And what I should have done is set up another sub, knowing that he was going to break it. But, you know, I didn't. I should I should have done that. Um, so now I suck with throw play doll, and he goes back into Rotom. So that was the fear I had, and that's actually what happened. So now I got to just leave in uh, Polyrath to die. Uh, Siligor still is a major threat to this, so I can just go to that. Bug buzz and um, kill it, hopefully, because I am life orb, and that's what I go for. I am gonna go do the bug buzz. You know what? I'm not gonna, <laughs> I just said it and I did it. There we go. <laughs> Why would I say it again? So it looked like um, he goes into Gorvantula. I'm like, okay, maybe he has a sucker punch. So I'm gonna scout and see if he has sucker punch. He does not go for sucker punch. That was dumb. Um, and it just cost me a Pokemon, so but it's all, it's all good. Manectrix is the last Pokemon I have left. It can outspeed both, uh, of course, Clay it all in this Gravantula and just take them both out with Flamethrower. So that was a good game. White and Palm, um, it was 1 0. It could have been a 2 0 if I didn't sit there and sacrifice Seligor for absolutely no reason, but I wasn't sure if he had Suck Punch. I just, I was just curious, just curious. But anyway, I had fun with it, and um, it was fun battling team that were similar to mine. Hope y'all enjoyed it. This is a morning narration, so I'm a little bit, uh, so um, maybe I'll make up for it with the next 10 seconds or something. I don't know. <laughs> don't go chasing lava falls. Please stick to the rivers and the lakes that you're used to. I know that you're gonna have it your way or nothing at all. But I think you're moving too fast. Wow. I'm really stupid. <laughs>